hey guys welcome back to another video this is the first vlog that i'm filming in 2024 i had a lot of footage from over the past I want to say month and a half that I never got around to editing and posting just because wow November and December were so crazy and I'm so it was such a nice time but it feels so good to be back in like my regular routine doing my regular things back to working out I was doing my co-pilot workout and I was thinking about how this was the first year in my whole life where I have consistently worked out every single week. Normally I'd be like, I'd go through spurts where I would work out really like a lot and then I would like get bored of it or tired of it and I would stop working out. And 2023 was the first year that I actually consistently worked out and I was thinking about why I thought that might be. Life is very annoying, isn't it? And I was thinking about why that might be and I actually figured it out because at the beginning of the year I reread the book Atomic Habits and if you have never read it, I would highly, highly recommend reading it or listening to it. I Actually, that's the one book I think I prefer reading and I've read it now three times and each time I read it, I learn something different I probably you know what I'm gonna read it again because every time I've read it I've learned something I read that at the beginning of the year and something clicked in my head that changed me as a person and I'm so grateful for that book I only do one resolution a year like one that I'm prioritizing because I don't want to overwhelm myself I can't change who I am as a person and I'm not gonna change in one day like it's a slow process and you're gonna you know it's not gonna be a linear process either just because maybe one day you don't stick to your resolution or one week or one month doesn't mean that you have to throw it out the window altogether because if I didn't work out for one day or if I didn't work out for a week it doesn't mean that the whole resolution goes out the window but before we get into what I think the one thing that made it possible for me to stick to my resolution I quickly want to thank Copilot for sponsoring today's video it is so fitting it has honestly changed my life and I think that if going into the new year resol your resolution is to be more active and be healthier and you want to incorporate more workouts into your life copilot is the best way to do that so copilot is a remote one-on-one -on -one affordable personal training service and this is different from any other like app or training service online because you actually get assigned a trainer and you have a trainer who will personalize your workouts for you so you will start by having a video session with your trainer and you will tell them what you want out of your workout what your goals are what you know how many times you want to work out what kind of workouts you like doing so i actually met with my trainer megan and i told her that i love pilates and i do like some sculpt workouts she went and created a whole workout plan for me based on my schedule when I think I would be able to work out and all of your workouts are tailored to your goals and what you want to accomplish and then as you start doing your workouts if there's certain things you want to change or certain things that you really like and you want to include more of you can chat with your trainer and they can adjust your workouts for you and it's really personalized so that is what I absolutely love the part that I think is so crucial and so amazing is the accountability aspect because you do have a literal person who is checking in with you, like asking you how your workout was, encouraging you to after you do your workout. No other workout app has that personal aspect and I feel like in this day and age where everything is online, it is so nice to be able to actually talk with someone, discuss how your workout went. I feel like you are just so much more likely to actually get a, your workout done when you know someone there is encouraging you and holding you accountable but it's not holding you accountable like where you get scolded <laughs> if you don't do your workout it, you also don't have to have any extra equipment they make these workouts based on what is accessible to you my trainer Megan is so sweet I feel bad because sometimes like I'll be just in a rush and I don't always respond to her but whenever I go on to my messages she is always so supportive and so sweet and so encouraging copilot's motto is fitness made easy and it could literally not be easier it is literally adjusted and tailored to your lifestyle all of the hard work like finding workouts for your goals and what you want is tailored just for you i always find it difficult to get my cardio movement in and megan created a workout where i incorporated cardio with my strength training if you ever need to hop on like a call with them then you can always do that as well you can schedule calls with them on there. You can click my Copilot link to get a 14-day free trial and 20% off your first month of personalized fitness if you sign up before February 1st. 
So I will leave Copilot linked down below if fitness is your goal for 2024 or even if it's not and you just want to become more active and you don't even know where to start or you are super busy and you just want it to be so easy for you then I would definitely check out Copilot. Okay so now let's get into the one thing that allowed me to stay consistent with my workouts and follow through with my last year's resolution which was to be healthier not necessarily to work out more but just to be a healthier person overall and there were different aspects of that there was the fitness aspect and then there was also like the food nutritional aspect the reason it was so important for me to work out consistently in 2023 was because a for my health i had fitness goals i was tired of not feeling comfortable in my own body not in the sense of how i look but when i work out i genuinely do feel better and then there was the other aspect of staying accountable to myself if i say i'm going to work out and i just don't not because i don't have the time or not because I'm any busier than anyone else who works out that makes me feel really bad like, I'm not gonna hold my word to myself I hold my word to everyone else if I say I'm gonna show up for everyone else in my life I always do it except for myself when I should be showing up for myself more than anyone else going into it like I said I read the book atomic habits and it completely shift my mindset and going into a new year new resolution it is all about your mindset you are literally capable of doing anything you set your mind to I tell you guys all the time if you decide tomorrow that you want to be a doctor there is a way for you to become a doctor like you can literally do anything you want in life you just have to believe in yourself obviously i'm not going to wake up tomorrow and say i'm an open heart surgeon and walk into an operating room but if that's something i genu genuinely want for myself like there are steps it would be a long process but i know i believe in myself that i can do it this is the one tip that i'm going to give you you have to believe you are already the person that you want to become so if your goal is to work out you have to identify as someone who works out. The example that is in the book Atomic Habits is if you are trying to quit smoking and someone says, do you want to go have a cigarette? Your response cannot be, no, I'm trying to quit smoking. Your response is, no, I don't smoke. By saying, no, I don't smoke, you are validating to yourself that you are not a smoker. You are not going out for a cigarette. Why would you do that? You're not a smoker. And then by telling yourself you're not a smoker, that is going to validate in your own mind. You can tell your mind literally anything. It's crazy. You can tell your mind you are the smartest person in the world and eventually you will believe it. Just like you can tell yourself you are literally so dumb, you're the biggest procrastinator, you're an idiot. Like you'll start believing yourself. By believing it, you're going to act in those ways where it will be true. At the beginning of my journey, I had to lie to myself a little bit. You will have to be a little delusional, okay? I didn't tell myself you need to work out because you're trying to be healthier, you're trying to work out a little bit more. In my mind, I was someone who worked out and someone who works out, like works out consistently, like rain or shine, they get a workout in. And when I say workout, like it, it wasn't, like I wasn't doing CrossFit every day. It was a walk, it was Pilates, it was, it was some sort of movement. And at the beginning, yes, I was a little delusional. I did have to tell myself I was someone who worked out, but then I just literally became someone who worked out same goes for eating healthy like if your resolution is to eat healthier before you go and you know eat a whole bag of chips you have to think to yourself what would a healthy person do a healthy person would have a few chips and put the bag away or have chips on the weekend they wouldn't eat be eating potato chips every single night maybe instead of chips they would have cucumbers and hummus or something that's healthier like you literally have to put yourself into the mind of someone who is who you are trying to become. If your goal is to be someone who is financially responsible, then you have to, you know, think about what the actions of someone who is financially responsible would be. They probably have a budget that they stick to every day. They probably don't spend aimlessly. They probably don't order food every single night. So if you're unsure of certain things and the steps you need on how to get there, I would make a list of the characteristics that the person you are aspiring to be has and then you just have to adopt those characteristics and tell yourself that you already have them on average it takes around 66 days to form a habit so you need to be a little bit delusional to form this habit but once you form the habit 
you are just going to become that person. You're not gonna have to tell yourself, what would a healthy person do? What would a financially responsible person do? So now on to my resolution for 2024 and my goal, and that is centered around procrastinating. I am the biggest procrastinator when it comes to work, when it comes to getting stuff done around my house, when it comes to the littlest things, the littlest things that take one second, one second to do. I will procrastinate it for weeks and then it'll give you so much anxiety that I don't even know how to handle it anymore. And then I'll get it done in five, 10, 20 minutes. And I'll always tell myself like, why did you procrastinate that? That was so easy. I've already started this and I've already seen such a big difference. I always said I am the laziest person and I am the messiest person, but I am no longer lazy and I am no longer messy, see? I'm telling myself these things. Whenever I am, you know, like procrastinating something, trying not to do something, avoiding something, I literally ask myself, well, would someone who's not lazy do this? Would the person that I'm trying to become, like let this mess pile up, like let the dishes pile up, would they let their work fall behind? No, they wouldn't, no. So I'm not going to do that because I'm not lazy and I'm not messy and I don't procrastinate. So those are all characteristics that I now have. I am embodying them and I truly believe that I have them. And in just a few days since the beginning of the year, I have noticed such a big difference. I cleaned up my whole house, okay, before the new year started and I had no excuse not to keep a tidy home. It is so much easier to pick up your after yourself as your day goes than to have to do a giant cleanup at the end of the day or the week or the month. So that is really the goal that I am working on in 2024. I want to be someone I admire. My boyfriend is like literally the opposite of procrastinating. He gets things done right away. He holds his word to himself if he says he's going to do something he 10 out of 10 times does it he cleans up after himself he does the dishes he told me when he moved into his apartment that before he goes to bed he has to do all of the dishes and I was like oh that's great and he was like because a dirty sink is a dirty mind I was like, where did I find you? Seeing that really motivated me to be like, I have no excuse. It takes two minutes to pick up after yourself. It takes maybe five to 10 minutes to do the dishes so that you don't have to wake up to them. It takes 20, 30 minutes to do a workout and you're gonna feel so much better, not only because you accomplished something, because you worked out, because you have a clean home, but because you kept your word to yourself. Not keeping your word to yourself is the worst thing you could possibly do. If you hire someone for a service, and they say they're gonna be at your house at 6 p.m. And the first day they don't show up, maybe something came up, you know? But the second day, if they don't show up again, like, you're not gonna hire them again. Why are you gonna do that with yourself? If you don't show up for yourself, you're not going to believe that you're capable. You're not gonna have faith in yourself. You're not gonna trust yourself. And that is the only thing you have. If you're gonna show up for anyone in your life, it needs to be for yourself. So if you have a resolution or a goal and you don't know where to start, I would create this person who has all of the characteristics of the person you want to be. And then you slowly, it doesn't have to be all at once because when you try to change something too quickly, it doesn't work. You slowly adopt these characteristics. And like I said, it takes 66 days to form a habit. Those are the hardest days. The first few months of the year will be the hardest, but after that, it just becomes who you are and it will be like second nature but anyways that's my little spiel and if you don't have anyone rooting for you in your life like you don't have a support system you don't have someone who believes in you i believe in you i truly believe you can do anything that you set your mind to i want to go into the new year with only things that I truly love, that I truly wear. I am very overwhelmed whenever I go to get dressed because there's a lot of things I just, I'm not gonna wear and I can never find anything in my house because I have clothes literally in every room as you will see. It is not a way to live, it is not realistic, it is unnecessary and that is gonna end today. So I have Nikki here, she's gonna help me go through all of my stuff. We're going to donate some stuff, sell some stuff. Another one of my New Year's resolutions is to get my site to sell my clothes actually up and running because right now we sell them at the office and you know a lot of things get sold there but there's still a lot of stuff i had a lot of stuff and i still have a lot of stuff so the plan for today is we're going to start with the closet in my bedroom and then we're going to organize that so when we get like things find things around the house we can put them 
in their home. So I really want to condense everything into this closet and then have some stuff in my office, but I don't need like three rooms filled of clothes. That is insanity. So this is the current state of my closet. Let me give you a close up of this because it is really scary. So here we have sweatpants. There's a lot of those I don't wear and I've already given away a ton. Here we have jeans. I'm going to try on a bunch because I literally wear maybe four pairs. I don't know what this situation is. I think this is from when I was getting dressed for the holidays. Like it just got all thrown there. The back is like my basic body. This is really alarming. Basic bodysuits, tank tops. That's probably the area I go to the most. Then I have this Ikea drawer th situation, which I also go in a, in a lot. But there's still a lot of like pajamas and stuff in there that I don't wear. And then on this side, we have my dressier shirts. There is so much stuff I don't wear that I will never wear. So we're going to go through a lot of that. And then sweatshirts at the top. Again, a lot of stuff I don't wear. And then the bottom floor, I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, that's really alarming the floor <laughs> yeah and there's also a lot of shoes that I just don't wear there's too much stuff in here to put this stuff away it's overwhelming and then when I want to get dressed all the clothes that I do wear are in like laundry baskets around the house so it's like it's like hard to get actually dressed and then as you know I have my office filming room closet which has kind of just turned into a dumping ground I can't even like work in there so if you what do you think we should do? Clear everything out off the floor? I think we need to be starting with the floor and then we need to move to the jeans. Take the things off the floor and you can tell me what you want to keep, what you want to sell, what you want to donate. Whatever we're keeping, we'll keep there to go back in. Okay. We're gonna go through and really see what is going on here. I have so many slippers that I don't need all of these. These aren't even the same two slippers. These my sister got me. They're cute. I don't really ever wear them, but I'm gonna keep them. I really only wear one pair of slippers. These we can donate. They're just like a little pair of fluffy slippers. These I do wear all the time in the summer, so I can put them in my like summer bin. Black slippers we're gonna donate. I just don't wear them. People and then people. these for the summer. These baskets are from um, Walmart. I think I'm gonna put them on the side and we can like fill, fill them. Back. Basket one, done. So dresses and anything fancier go into my filming room. This is really my basic everyday closet, so this will go into the other room. If you come across empty hangers, just please pass them down. This I wore yesterday, a workout set. I have to get better at throwing things in the laundry and not throwing them back in my closet. Well, you need to have a laundry basket in your room, like normal humans have. You have that? Of course. We'll put them in a jeans pile because we're going to go through jeans in a And we're going to try them on. Well, there's also a something houndstooth in there. A skirt. Like, what, am, what, is, what is going on here? This is a black leather dress. That which, is not leather. <laughs> <laughs> this is a black knit dress that has to go in the other closet. This, I don't know why, I've held on to this Zara sweater for years i don't know where it came from it's obviously men's we're getting rid of it because i never wear it top Cute. we have to hang up we love that we love that top it's probably my most worn top and this is also dirty and a little one part of a set i think on christmas i got mashed potato all over these decided i'm going to sell these uggs because i really only wear platform mugs i know i did say that i hate platform mugs this has been in my closet for since I moved in, and it's, you guys are not ready for what this is. I'm not ready. <laughs> Why is this in my closet? I also have this bucket of weights. I don't know why I thought my closet was the right place for that. These are my new boots I got from Uggs for when I walk Leonard. So these I'm going to bring downstairs because I'm never... Why are they in there? They need to go downstairs. This is my hair extension holder that has no hair extensions in it currently. This is one of my hats. I have a hat bin. And then this is also a sweater that needs to be hung up. It's the Mariana Hewitt um, Revolve collab. So this is my belt from Amazon. It's an Hermes dupe. Obviously keeping that. This, I've never worn it, but we're going to keep it. Oh, you were going to say give it away? 
You don't like it? But maybe one day this will come in real handy. Where is it from? H&M. Oh. I need to make a purchase regret video because this is a purchase regret. And then when I was losing, I ruined it. Who wants to walk around with a Prada logo on their forehead? Especially when they're doing outdoor activities. What are you thinking? I was psycho. A random pair of tights that are dirty. This black belt is from the brand By Far and I wear it all the time. I got it on Essence. I really love that one. I have two belts from Zara, which I really love. I have to cut these tags off, but you know what? Because I have this belt, because I have this belt, I'm gonna get rid of this belt. You're a star. Don't forget about these Thanks. Eggs. I have this random white hat that I I'm never gonna wear, so we're gonna get rid of that. Because I have this white hat from Abercrombie that has a cute little design on it. They're really handy. They're for when you wanna like tuck something in, tuck something under. It's a, an elastic belt, so I'm gonna keep that. This is also a belt from H&M. It's a brown one. I have another brown small belt, but this one is a lot more casual. Sporty and rich hat. I have, for someone who doesn't really wear a lot of hats, I have a lot of hats. And you just bought two the other day. But those are the ones, those are ones I need. A random pair of pajama shorts with my hat. And then this one that says Los Angeles. This is from, I think it was Laura Lee Los Angeles. And then I have this shiny sparkly one, which you never know when you're going to need. Why does it cross like that? It's actually really cute. It crosses and then kind of dangles down. Where'd you get that? On the dress? I think I got it at, from Express. These are from Dynamite. Those are really cute. We're gonna keep those. These I find too tight, so we can sell. So. These, I, they're cute, but I don't really wear them that much. These are like just too short, and every time I wear them, they make me feel ugly, so I don't wear them. These I wear, I love. They're from Lululemon. These are cute little shorts from Zara. We're gonna keep, this is like a summer bin, and these are from Zara, I think. The hair has gone up. We have a hair wash day coming, and my hair feels extra dirty. By the way, watermelon Celsius is the best flavor. You think? Hold on, let me... My lip is paralyzed, so let me just hold it down. <laughs> it's still? I can't suck a straw. No, that's not normal. Wow, I was looking for this stuff. All my cozy collection. From Skims? Some it all. I never wear any of it. Did you miss it when you couldn't find it? It has all of my cozy Skims collection, which I honestly never wear. These are a dupe from um, Misguided. Who ever thought those biker shorts were a good idea? I don't know, but honestly, like, I'm not gonna wear any of this. It's really, like, I never enjoyed wearing it. It always made me overheat, so we're gonna sell all of it. Come. This is going very well. I'm feeling better already. We have a very scary situation on our hands. I don't know what this is, but we need to figure it out. So here it looks like we have this bralette from Dynamite, which I do wear all the time. I don't know why, it's just thrown in there. This top from Revolve, it looks like it'd be really cute, but it's the most unflattering top ever. I'm going to make a pile of all my tank tops. I like hanging my everyday basic tank tops because it's what I reach for the most and that's the best You're way, gonna pass them to easiest me. way I, to see them. This is my shapewear. I wore this the other day. Honey Love Shapewear, the best. And then this is a dirty pair of tights. So obviously this is the best place for them. I have this organizer, so I'm sure this will come in handy at one point. And then for some reason, I have these travel cases in the organizer. Ooh, this is my prized possession. My most, most, most prized possession. My Big Bang Theory shirt. Here's all my pajamas. I was literally looking for these. These are my Skims pajamas. E10 got me these for Christmas last year. More Love and Lore pajamas. And then these are my holiday pajamas. So once we clear out this drawer, which has all pajamas in it, which like you probably don't care about, so I'll do that on my own time. Um, I'll fit those in. This is her in her rarest form. A mess. <laughs> so now we're going to tackle the jeans. And honestly, I have been avoiding this for months and months now i've actually i actually recently went through my jeans and i have a lot of jeans that i have i'm selling at the office and i have to still post 
a lot of good brands like a goldie because a i am not the same size i once was and b my jean style has really changed so we're gonna go through it and um i'll try a few pairs on for you the ones that i'm unsure of some i know i love some i know i don't love but i'll try a few pairs on for you these are from a goldie these i have to say are probably one of my favorite pairs of a goldie jeans they're kind of like a boot cut a lighter wash i'm more into darker wash at the moment some outfits do need just like a lighter wash and they have a little bit of a flare at the bottom these i already know 100 percent i'm keeping they're super flattering and they fit really well so this is a no-brainer this is actually going back to one of the first pair of a goldie jeans i ever bought they're the nico jeans they are a skinny jean and they are black the only thing i think about when i see these jeans is that i wore them on the first date with my ex-boyfriend and i'm traumatized by them i also cannot squish my tush in these so we're going to sell them but they're a really good pair of black skinny jeans i also just don't really wear skinny jeans to try these on for you because I don't, I honestly don't even know if these fit. I don't know <laughs> what, what these are, but they're not good. I thought they'd be similar to the other ones I have from a Goldie that are kind of bikery, but wow, these are so, so strange. <laughs> they're so, show the pop, the square, but pockets. <laughs> they're about eight meters long also. Skinny. and skinny <laughs> if you are really tall these will be great on you these feel really stiff i don't know again these are another pair of my goldie jeans i feel like i got these ones at winners or marshall's i'm not sure of the exact style of these i'll put them on the tag but i think when i got these i didn't fit into them and now that i fit into them i do enjoy them when i'm wearing a high rise like this because this is high i like when it's a little bit i think with a pair of heels these will be really cute and the rips like when i'm feeling like i'm in a ripped mood i don't want rips coming up my leg and going to my toes i want them just at my kneecaps and they actually go to the perfect length on me i feel like these are really flattering i'm happy i tried these on because in my head i was like these are the most uncomfortable pair of jeans i remember i wore them and i was so uncomfortable in them but now i feel like because they fit properly i I will gravitate towards them a lot more these are the 90s relaxed jeans from a goldie i actually did a whole like surgery on these to cinch in the waist and i don't wear these as much as i should but i feel like they're more my style now than they were when i first got them I've had these for years i've tried everything to make them work i performed surgery on the back to cinch the waist and whenever I put these on, I just don't feel good. They come up really high. I feel like these are my highest waisted jeans that I have. And they make my torso look about three inches long. So these, I think, were finally ready to part with, even though they're really comfy. And I feel like on other people, they look really cute. If you have a really long torso, I feel like these would be your best friend. I thought maybe that, like, <laughs> lower... <laughs> lower Wearing them lower would be better, but it makes honestly makes my... Crotch. crotch look so long <laughs> like, why are you walking like a little lad? i feel like i need to walk like this when i have them on i don't even know what these are these are more of a skinny jean like i said i now i'm more into a longer maybe like a straight leg slash mild boot cut i i like jeans that go past the ankle and these are very much ankle length jeans but i wore these a ton now i do have two pairs of these exact jeans and these have a broken belt loop now these are another pair of riley jeans but these are a little bit different these have been ripping them and they're a lot stretchier i do have to say that these jeans recently have been making me feel more like a stuffed sausage so i don't know if i'll i'll really be wearing these a ton but i do like these i'm gonna keep these I'm gonna keep these. Okay. So these are a darker wash pair of Riley's. I have never worn these ever they're because cute. they have a weird smell to them that just doesn't go away. Every time I've tried wearing them, they just don't work on me. Something weird is going on here. I think I needed to size up in these or something. This pocket is like bulging out. I don't know, it's just not not the vibe. Now these are the first pair of jeans. No, they're not. Okay, <laughs> these are the like crossover jeans that I love from a Goldie. I do really love these and I'm going to keep them and they are just 
a great pair of jeans that I, I don't wear as much. But I have a theory that I don't wear them as much because I forget about them because I have so many pairs. I feel like those jeans remind me of Florida. Did you wear them when we went to Florida? No. I wore the... I wore the Miss Lola version. Those were cute. No, I didn't even wear those. I got those the day before I went to Florida with Jana. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are the first pair of big oldie jeans I ever bought. They are um, not very stretchy, not very comfy, but I do still like wearing them a lot. And because I, I, they were my first pair, I am going to hold on to them and I don't dislike them. So, they, and they make your butt look good, so I'm going to keep these. I don't know why a Goldie ever made these. I, these are like a low pair, low, low rise, dark wash jeans. I'll try them on for you. They, they're not great. These are the Kai jeans from a Goldie. And while they're not terrible, they're not terrible. They're doing nothing for me. They're doing something weird at my ankle. I don't know why they're like suffocating my ankle. These I love. These are the like cargo-esque style pants. These, if you want to feel like the coolest girl on the block, these are the jeans you need to wear just with like a simple t-shirt. They make your butt look so freaking amazing. So I, of course, I'm going to keep these. Okay, moving on to Zara jeans. Zara has some of my favorite jeans and I wear these all the time. These are, I think they're the straight leg mom jeans. I have them in three colors and I just lit these like they're like easy pair of jeans if I don't know what pair of jeans to wear I throw these on they're just easy I like them these are from girlfriend denim I don't know if I fit in these these are the Carolina jeans from girlfriend denim and these are my favorite style of jeans from girlfriend denim they're super comfortable they fit really nice they go to a good length on me and the color is great they also have a lot of different styles like Carolina but overall the fit is perfect wow this wash is really scary it looks like those dirty Kylie Jenner acne studios jeans <laughs> you have a lot of ripped jeans for someone who I had literally have never seen wear ripped jeans I had a ripped jean face <laughs> those are cute oh these are my new Zara jeans I do like them they're a little bit longer they look good with boots darker wash you guys know I'm in my dark wash era these are also from dynamite I think the issue I have with these dynamite jeans is that I just need to get them shortened a little bit they're all way too long on me these are the Heidi jeans from dynamite I really love the wash on them and I feel like they're really cute but because I'm really trying to narrow down my jeans I just know myself and I'm not going to gravitate towards picking these and I'll tell you why these were made way longer and I cut them and so the way they're made it's like this area bunches up at like where my knee should be and it just creates this like awkward flap you see there so these are Heidi but in a lighter wash I like these jeans overall but there's something about them that made me gravitate towards a different pair of jeans over this one for me it's the rise so I'm gonna sell these but again if you were taller than me these would be perfect these are also from dynamite they're like a cargo pair of jeans okay I just recently tried on a pair of jeans and they had this exact same issue these are super comfy they're super cute but the issue I have with these is that, once again, I'm a little bit short. So the pockets on um, someone with longer legs would hit around here, and that is a flattering place for a pocket to be. Because my legs are really short, they are dragged down, and the pocket placement is really low on my leg. It's not flattering. These are the little things that matter. Like, where the pockets are on your leg matter because it makes it seem like my thigh comes down to here and then my calf is like three centimeters long these are from abercrombie i don't love the wash on these i feel like it's what like they, they fit really well but the wash is a little bit bizarre so i'm gonna sell these they're really comfy but i literally never wear them okay um these are actually oh these are cute white jeans also should i try both on see which ones i like more these are the 90 straight ultra high rise and these are the 90 straight ultra high rise. These are a 25 and these are 26. These are the 25. These are more of the cream. I do like these, but here's the thing. The button is throwing me off. And I know that seems like a crazy thing to focus on, but the button 
is all I can see. These are the 26 and they're more of the stark white and these are better. I feel like even just with like a plain t-shirt like this, they're cute. I do like these better. I'm going to try on the Zara ones and see what those look like compared to this. These are the ones from Zara and I just feel the best in these. I feel like the top situation is a lot more flattering. These are definitely the ones I'm going to keep. Even though the Abercrombie ones were like completely opaque, you couldn't see anything in this one, you can kind of see the pocket, I still prefer these ones over those. They're Abercrombie as well. They have a fun little detail on them. Another pair of Abercrombie jeans. I got these ones in Florida when we were in Orlando. I don't really love these, but I'm going to try them on to make sure of that. I figured out what I don't like about these and it has nothing to do with the bottom because I think the bottom is cute and it's actually kind of the perfect length on me. It's this top part. I feel like they go a little bit too high for my liking and then there's also this like dark weirdness. Have... Oh my god. <laughs> it has this like dark weirdness on the top that I find when jeans have this, it kind of makes them look a little bit cheaper. And I I don't hate them, but I also know I'm never going to like gravitate to these over another pair I have. I have four pairs of black Abercrombie jeans. I know these ones with the leather I really like. Um, but these three, I don't know which ones I like and which ones I know I don't. I know I like one out of three. I've never taken the time to figure out which one I like. So these are the first pair from Abercrombie. I'm not into rips, so... Like, that's a lie. I am into certain rips. The bottom of these are throwing me off. I don't like when a pair of jeans goes in at the bottom. You know what I mean, Nick? Yeah, like, like, like a dad jean. Yeah, like, I don't, I like more of a straight leg, and I feel like these go in at the bottom. So, you know what? Nope, I already decided I don't like these. These are so much better. Like I said, they're more of a straight leg. They don't have rips in them. These are a size 26, so they are just more comfortable on me. I need to wear these more often because they're the perfect pair of black jeans. Okay, so this is another pair of crossover jeans from Abercrombie, and the crossover on these is a lot more intense. They are so stiff, though. I feel like I starched these with an iron. And it was very hard for me to button them up because they were so stiff. I'm, I think I'm going to wash them. Hopefully they'll get softer. I can't say that these are like the, my sexiest jeans. Like I don't think that these are like the most flattering. The best jeans in the world are these Reformation jeans. I have them in two colors. Honestly, ever since I got these, they're the only jeans I've been wearing. I have them in this shade, and then I ordered them in a darker wash, and they're so comfy. They're the perfect length. They're a straight leg, but not like a skinny jean. These brown jeans from Abercrombie, I feel like... <sighs> yes. 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 Miss Lola has some of the best, not Miss Lola, Princess Polly has some of the best jeans, especially these crossover jeans. I love them. They're flat. They're so flattering. They're so cute. I have them in this green color and I actually, these are like some of my most worn jeans. Also, this little crossover detail is really nice if you want to cinch in your waist. It's time to say goodbye to these and I'm very upset. These are the first pair of jeans I ever got that really made me fall in love with jeans. These are the Wedgie Fit Levi's. The color of them is so good. I love the color. They have some holes. They're like cropped, but I do not fit into these. No, I do not. We are going to try them on. <laughs> I need to double check before I actually get the Because you have sentimental them. issues. I know. Okay, so I'm gonna obviously have to <laughs> get rid of these because I can't stand up straight for some reason I've just done like this they are not flattering on my butt they are a capri and I can't button them <laughs> and so they gotta go these are from Miss Lola I have a slit but what I like about these is that they're wide enough that they really cover your shoe without giving you a weird ankle and the color is more on like the gray side less like super blue so I know I like these and I need to remember to wear these more because I really do like them these are from, these are from White Fox. They're very cool. I did wear them one time. I remember. They do give me a weird bum, but I don't have to look at that, so it doesn't really bother me that much. These are my favorite pants in the world, the utility pants from Maritzia. This random pair of jeans from Denim for, oh, this is a jean skirt. This is my jean skirt. 
Don't think we're done because we have a whole pile that were on the floor. These need to be washed, but I did wear these the other day and I really like them. They were very comfortable. If you're a short girl, these are the jeans that you need to be wearing. I will do my best to put the names somewhere of all of these on the screen. Reformation jeans, as I said, I don't need to tell you again. These are the best jeans on the market, the comfiest jeans. If you are looking for a good pair of affordable jeans, these ones from Zara, the straight leg jeans, they're similar to the ones I was talking about earlier. Earlier. these are my most worn they go with everything they were a little bit longer I did take scissors to the bottom and cut them but they're so good this dark wash is perfect there's just the right amount of like color variation in them honestly if I need like a good classic pair of jeans those are them probably my most worn jeans another brand that i really love is denim forum it is i think aritzia's own denim brand i have two favorite pairs of jeans and styles for them this is out of the two this is not the one i would recommend these are the farah high rise wide leg jeans and they're just a very wide leg i love these with a pair of boots i love these with like over sneakers but the Joni jeans are where it's at. These are from Dynamite. They're the Mika or Mika jeans and they have pearls all over them. I feel like they're, these are so fun. I like them in this time of year, but I especially feel like they're going to look so cute in the summertime. But I, I, this is my second pair of jeans I've tried from Dish and these are really dark. I wanted like a really saturated dark pair of jeans with no distressing, like you know the true religion kind of jeans with the orange stitching and that is what this is and I'll try I'll show you guys these on because they're very cute but I do have to cut them so I'm gonna do that as well these are the dish jeans and I have to say I really do enjoy them the color is exactly what I wanted I don't have any jeans like this they go a little bit higher than I would have liked but I feel like that's kind of the vibe they're a little bit of a boot cut um they're way long on me so I either need to cut them or wear like a really high heel but I feel like for this, this is like the style I wanted. So definitely going to keep these. I'm going to wash them, see how they fit, and then I might give them a little trim. Honestly, I just got these in. I was kindly sent some jeans from Frame. So I've never tried these on. I'll try them on. But they did give me a code for 15% off. If you want to do that, you can use the code Tony15. Um, I will try these on. They feel really nice and stretchy. These are the Pixie Jane jeans from frame and i have to say i really love them they're so comfy they go right to my belly button which is like my favorite length which is my favorite rise on jeans they're such a good length on me where i can wear them with sneakers and they will like kind of just drape over my shoe or i can wear them with heels and they'll be long enough honestly i can see myself wearing these a ton and they have a lot of stretch to them very comfy the color it's really nice very flattering 10 on 10 we'll definitely be keeping these this is another pair of frame jeans. You can see how long they are. And with heels, these will definitely need to be cut. I find on me, these, I don't really like jeans that go way past my belly button. And this is a good inch above my be belly button. The reason I don't like when they go this high is because I feel like they really make my torso look a lot shorter. I don't already don't have long torso. I don't have long legs. So even though this will make my legs look really long, I just don't like how it doesn't, I don't find it balances me. Even though they are really cute, I feel like on someone else, these will be the perfect jeans. And I'm not even going to try to cut them because I know that they're just going to look better on someone else. I have to say I'm very happy with the progress we've made, but boy is it exhausting. Let me show you what we've done. So you saw we went through all the jeans. So this is the jeans we have. It's still an obscene amount, but compared to what what it was like it's half we went through all the sweatpants so here are like really the sweatpants that i have and then these i wear them more they're the knit set sweatpants these are my dress pants um i have a bunch of these like random things but these are like my dress pants but here are my little sets and then these are like my basics everyday body suits i still need to go through and clean up this little section here um, we, you saw we did the baskets and then we also did all the sweaters. I put my knits and then we went through the tops. I didn't film it because I thought that would be real boring, but um, you will see all this stuff on this site or at the CNC store. So that took three hours and I'll show you the pile that we are going to be getting selling. It 
It's literally as tall as me. Um, there's a lot of jeans, pants, clothes, a lot of stuff with tags on it. Just things that I think, things I love, but I think things would, that would look better on other people. I'm listening to this new audiobook. It's called The Secret, the Secrets You Keep. I just started it. Also, my nail polish came off my nail. I'm going to go tomorrow morning just so they can fix it. But I wanted to do a little clean out of my makeup drawer because it's quickly gotten under out of control. And I got this new organizer that I thought would be good. It is made for you like utensils, but I thought it would be good. So I'm going to, right now it's kind of just like all in this bucket, which isn't organizing anything at all. My makeup is like this because I feel like it just takes so much longer to do my makeup because I'm like trying to find everything. This doesn't fit this way, but it does fit this way. So I feel like this is going to be the move. I don't know if I should put it like this or like this. I'm going to put it like this. So I feel like I'm going to line my foundations up here and then put my brushes in this like narrow spot. I'm actually very happy with this. Normally I would go in and like clean all my makeup, but I would be up till like 3 a.m. if I did that. So I'm just going to go in and put all of my foundations. I'm going to kind of do it in like steps. So foundation, then move that way. These are my blushes. This is She's So LA from Patrick Todd's, one of my favorites. Oh my God, oh my God, that makes me so happy. This broke, but I'm trying to use up this cream contour. This, I'm almost out of this powder. I have like very little left. This has lasted me literally like two years and I'm finally just done finishing it. So I'm gonna finish that up. And I'm also like trying to finish this up, so soon those will both be done. This looks so much better. I have my concealers, cream bronzers, powders, powder bronzers, foundations, and like primers, highlighters, blushes, eye stuff, lip stuff, brushes over here, my palettes, and some like tools. Of that, it'll, they all have their sections, um, and it just looks so Alright much guys, so that is it for today's video. I felt so much better after I got all of that cleaning and organizing done, but don't worry, we have a lot more to get done. Um, this will be the real test when I go through all my blazers and everything. I'm working on getting my site up now to sell all my clothes, but if you want to come, but if you want to come to the office, we do have a whole clothing room of like my pre-loved clothing that I'm selling there. So I will leave everything I can, like the jeans and everything, linked down below, as well as Copilot. Make sure to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. I love you, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!